Hey, what's up, guys? And Happy New Year. It is uh, currently 8.30 in the morning on January 2nd. And I was sitting on the couch watching the morning news with Dogby and trying to come up with a video idea. Because, you know, in the week between Christmas and New Year's, I pretty much just shut my brain off. So I haven't been thinking of anything. But then I remembered I picked up the cheapest set of near field probes to use with the tiny uh, SA spectrum analyzer. I thought, let's take a look at them. So these are from a company called Wallfront. I bought them off of Amazon for $5 and 37 cents. And as you can see, they have not even been opened yet, which means I need something to open this with. There we go. So what do you get for $5.37? Well, you get an E-Field probe with a diameter I'm guessing this is 25 mils, millimeters. No. 14.72 then you get one that's five millimeters and one that I probably can't even get that in there and it's about two millimeters I guess and an H fielder what we call a stub probe so oops sorry bumped the camera what I thought we would do is I've got this Arduino running. We fire up the tiny SA. We'll start with the, uh, the largest probe here. We'll connect it to the SMA cables. And we'll fire up the tiny SA. Oh, wow. Let's see if you can see that. See that tiny little peak there? 103.5. That's the local country music station. So this is uh, working as quite an antenna. All right, so let's, uh, let's bring it over here. And I'm going to bring it up to the uh, the crystal oscillator here, which is 16 megahertz. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's go frequency, center, we'll set a center frequency of, let's just put it right at 16 megahertz. Let's see if we get anything from this probe. Yep, there it is. One peak at 16 megahertz at minus 74. DBM. Let me see if I can get a, a, a better picture so you guys can see more of what I'm doing. So first, don't pass the probe like this. I mean, you can, but in order to get the best pickup, you kind of want to be perpendicular. Because remember, mag this is a magnetic field probe. It's an E-field probe. And the flux is going to come out and make a circle. Let me 
pretty, pretty good that way too. All right, let's uh, discombobulate the big one, and we'll go with the we'll go with the smallest one. Now, I'm not an RF engineer. I mean, I had RF in college 30 some years ago, but it's not my specialty. So if I'm doing things wrong, I apologize. I'm just trying to sniff this board here. See, now this one is too small for this anyway. Let's see if this medium one picks it up any better. Yep, picked it up good, but it's at a minus 87. The other was what, minus 74, 75, right about there like that. So we're just seeing that 16 megahertz peak everywhere. Let's uh, try the stub field probe, the H field. Um, let me see if I can actually attempt to draw this for you. Hang on a second. All right, keep in mind, I am no artist. But let's say, for instance, this is the direction of our radio wave. Well, we are going to have our E field like this. Okay. Think of it being in the north-south direction, okay? Now, 90 degrees out of phase is going to be our H field, or the magnetic field. Let's so draw it like this. I know it looks like it's 180 degrees, but it's not. It's 90 degrees. So we can use E field probes to get the E field and then our H field or stub probes for the other. I didn't put on the H field, I put on the tiny one. I don't know why I did that. Probably because it's still pretty early in the morning. Okay. So let's bring our H field in here. There you can see our peak. 16 megahertz minus 73. So the H field is picking up about as well as our largest E field. And that makes sense because as I just showed you, we have our E field and then, let me use my pen. East and west, we have our H field. So two parts of the same equation. Pretty cool. All right, let's go over to the computer. I'll show you the uh, where I bought them, and I'll make sure I put a link down below. Yeah, I'm just holding a camera. Sorry. I don't feel like setting up the screen capture this morning. But there it is, four pieces, EMI Near Field Probe Set, $5.37 from Amazon. Yeah, can't beat that with a stick. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.